How's it going guys? My name is Muddy Macker. Welcome to this video. Now before this starts, if you guys can please smash that like button and subscribe. It is free and I am very much appreciated when you guys do so. Anyways guys, this video is all about um, Black Ops Cold War assault rifle weapons in Warzone. Basically the best class set outs that you will need for these weapons that you will need in Warzone when it is released in Season 1. So we have five AR classes, which is the XM4, the AK-47, the Krig-6, the QBZ, and the FFAR. Now I have literally four of them at max level, and I'm still working on the FFAR, which we're going to talk about um, last. But first off, we have the XM4, which we're going to talk about. Save for the optics, since it is Warzone, you got to think big map, massive map. What is the best real, real scope for this that is so accurate? To me, I think it's the Vision Tech two times. This scope is actually truly insane. Now, I, I can't tell you how many times that I've used it. Honestly, you can probably use uh, any, a thermal if you wanted to, but no one really uses thermal unless it's like a nighttime mode. But um, basically just the high scope um, zooms at any that you guys need but um, honestly you can change that if you want you don't even need an optic which honestly if you don't want an optic I would honestly add in for the airborne elastic wrap because that way you can go prone with the XM4 aim down sight time plus 30 and 90% flinch resistance that's what I would um, take out from the sights if I were to do that Anyways, next up, you just got the normal suppressor because um, it just got a few negatives here with the, the effective damage range and range and the bullet velocity. Whereas the agency suppressor like affects that majorly, which we didn't really want to touch because of that. So the barrel that we want to use is the reinforced heavy. We've got 100% effective damage range and 40 percent plus uh, bullet velocity which would be really insane now one thing that I want to talk about real quick is that the XM4 is technically the M4 already in the war zone so I wonder how they're gonna change that I I don't know maybe they're gonna put that M4 as a burst gun um, and maybe this one as the normal assault rifle who knows anyways next up the under barrel we're gonna use the field agent grip because this bitch is gonna give us 6% vertical recoil control as well as 20% horizontal recoil control. Next up we've got the magazine. We want the max one of course as well as it is a fast mag as well. Which with that if you just want it uh, Sanag 50 round it's still gonna like have the same negatives but the thing is you want fast. Mm -hmm. Technically that is what you want. And secondary, that doesn't matter. And hopefully, we'll see if Perk Greed will come out into this game because that means you'll have the same perks. Because that means you'll only need to get your loadout once, and you'll have already Ninja and Ghost, which is technically Dead Silence in Warzone at the moment. Dude, it's just it's just a little confusing. We're not going to really focus on that, and we're not going to focus on the secondary weapons. That is completely your choice. We're just focusing on the assault rifles right now. Next up is the Boss AK-47. This shit is going to change dramatically in Warzone because this gun is insane. And again, we're going to use the two times uh, scope. And then if I wanted to replace that, I'd probably go with a muzzle with a uh, suppressor. Next up, we've got the Takedown, which is 150 effective damage range. We don't need to really increase its bullet velocity because it's already an, an insane gun, really. The under barrel, we're going to use the Spatsnaz Speed Grip. That bitch is gonna make you really fast out in the battlefield. Honestly, you could probably have it with uh, the Spetsnaz grip as well, but it's actually so accurate that you don't really need it. Uh, the magazine, we're gonna use the 50 round fast mag as well, which is basically gonna be on all of the classes. And for the quick draw, we're gonna use the Gru Elastic Wrap. This shit is insane. Next up, we're going to go to the Krieg 6. So, honestly, the, I think this is kind of the similar one as the AK-47. We've got the same optic, and if I were to replace it, it would be the suppressor. Next up, we're going to use the takedown, which is going to be 150% uh, effective damage range, as well as the underbow, the field agent grip as well. Magazine, we already know, the 50 round fast mag, and then the handle is going to be the airborne elastic wrap. Now guys, if you wanted me to do a video of this where you can have 8 attachments on the gun, I can definitely do that, but for right now we're just focusing on the main 5 that you really need. Next up is the QBZ. This gun is an interesting weapon. 
would say you definitely need the QBZ on this because it's a little less accurate than the other guns, I'd say. You would want to take down for the most uh, effective damage range because I feel like it, uh, it, like I said, not not the most accurate gun in the game. And we're going to use the field agent grip as well. Magazine, you already know, 50 round mag. And the handle, the airborne elastic wrap. Why, why, if you're asking me why about the airborne elastic wrap on all these guns, just look at this shit. Aim down side time, insane. 90% flinch resistance, as well as you can aim while going prone. And we all know in this game for um, Cold War, you can either use that attachment or the drop shot wrap in order for you to literally drop shot your opponents. And that's what a lot of people do in Warzone, so I figured why not. Next up, the FFAR. So I don't have this gun max, so I don't have all of the attachments yet, but this gun definitely needs vision tech. And it's because it's just, this gun is wild. It is completely fucking crazy. Next up for the muzzle, uh, you have to use literally, I use the first one for the vertical recoil control, but just because it's so crazy. The barrel reinforce heavy so you can get effective damage range as well as bullet velocity because this gun is really fast. It's basically like an SMG in the game, really. And next up, you got four grip so you can get more accuracy with it as well as the 34 round speed mag but for warzone i would use the 44 round speed mag just because you need the most ammo and again if i were to replace the optic i would go for the handle and get to the airborne elastic wrap as well so guys that is it for these classes i got the xm4 done the ak the krig 6 the qbz 83 and the ffar now guys, if you want to see another video like this for the new Warzone Season 1 Black Ops Cold War, uh, let me know and also drop a comment down below as well. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. Anyways guys, you have a good one and goodbye. Peace.